Hey, what's up everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Jam Code Project. Um, so in the last episode, yeah, I tried working on that. I'm not going to be doing that because it sucks. And also they're probably going to change Iron Golem spawning again, so I can't be bothered with it. Yeah, over here I have a tree farm. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any um, TNC for it. But basically what you do is you plant some trees here. You go up, you share out the middle of them. Um, then you hit a switch. TNC falls down, everything gets blown up, it's all good. Uh, yeah, I saw it in a video by Etho. Um, if I remember, I'll link the video in the description. But yeah, uh, today want to either start working on the Nether Hub or start working on the Guardian Farm. Um, probably not the Guardian Farm because I need uh, Depth Strider boots. Well, they would help. So yeah, I think I'm going to start working on the Nether Hub. So what I'm going to need is a lot of stuff. I'll see if anyone has stuff on the server. Okay, so the nether hub is going to go around here somewhere. Um, we have the spawn portal right there. That takes you to spawn, and that takes you to the village. Um, well, in between the villages. Um, at spawn, we're going to have a, a mob farm, a general mob farm. Uh, caves are being lit up right now. Okay, that, that's a scary sound. So yeah, we're going to have nether hub around here somewhere. Um, I'm thinking of just putting it like right there so it's kind of like not quite in the way of all the portals because there's a lot of portals around here so if I just have another hub here it should work fine um, and then it's not that that hard to get to there so yeah I'm thinking that hub should go here like it's a nice open space here uh, you, the, um, I still haven't fully decided on what like color palette it should be. Um, I don't want it too dark because the nether is dark enough as it is. So yeah, well, let, let's get some blocks together here. Yeah, I'm gonna need to make a super smelter at some point. Alright, this is a little while later now. We now have a super smelter. Uh, this isn't what I wanted to build. I wanted to build something much bigger than this. But lack of resources meant I couldn't. Um, I hope there's nothing in uh, the hoppers. Okay, well, good thing I checked. Because if there's something in the hoppers then that can't go into the furnace, then, then these won't work. But yeah, the rails took a long time on this. So this better work right. Right, this didn't work right. Uh, that's fine, I'll just extend it by one block that way, and then we'll work. Um, uh, looks like all the coal was distributed already. Uh, looks like there's... Everything has two, apart from that. So that, yeah, that should work fine now for the rest of the days. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Um, everything goes into here. It's pretty fast. However, not as fast as it can be. That's why I was going to build something else, but never mind. We don't have time for this today. We want to work on the nether hub, and this needs a lot of glass, because I'm going to... I'm also going to need a lot of red dye. Let me go get some of that. Alright. Got eight stacks of red stained glass here. And uh, I need to start working on this thing now. Uh, let me just switch over to this because I don't want to waste my silk touch pick. Um, well, that was weird. Okay. So this should be fairly easy to dig out. It's only, it's only nether rack. It will take a while though. Okay, so I've got a little bit of a circle here. Uh, it's 32 blocks wide, I think, something like that. Um, yeah, this is gonna be the main area, but then around that there's gonna be another circle, but this is like where the main bit is gonna be where... I'm gonna dig down now, basically, for a long time, um, and then have a really cool thing happen. You'll see. Okay, this is the next day. I have like one hour to do everything now. Not very long at all, so uh, yeah, let's get on with it. 
These guys do not make it easy. Alright, I'm not sure how to do this. I think I'm just gonna do something like this. Just dig up and down, I guess. Filling it in. The reason I want this to be black concrete is because you can't really... It makes it look dark and makes it look spacious, I guess, like if it's a, supposed to be a dark place. So this will work pretty well here, I think. Right, we need to go to here and then do the same here, I guess. Just dig down. Also, I'm pretty sure concrete is ghast proof, so... The ghast won't be able to blow it up if they shoot from the outside there, so that's good. Okay, so the amount of concrete I had, I think it was like... Uh, like... Ten and a half stacks maybe? Eight and a half? I don't know, something like that. It was enough for almost half of what we need. So, uh, yeah, okay. Well, half of this just circle, so I'm going to need a, another 16 stacks, I'm guessing, uh, to, get it, to get it the way I want it to be. Uh, what we're going to be doing here is, I'm going to build some kind of like cool stalagmite sort of thing here, maybe one or two smaller ones, but there's going to be one in the middle. Uh, this is going to be the center of the nether hub, uh, but like even though it's the center, like the walking space will be like all the way down to here like all of this is just walking space and then around that is where it's, it's going to be like different tunnels and all that branching off to wherever you need to go but yeah over here after we build the stalagmite i'm gonna do that thing i did in my slime farm in my lp world where i put glass layer by layer skipping one block so that you can see the next glass through the next layer and it'll create a fog effect to make it look like that's like super hell and shit yeah because technically we are in hell and so I thought that would make sense you know but yeah I'm gonna have to go now I think uh, it was cool so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one have a good day bye bye